Hi guys, it's uh, NM Gafoy here with the Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone and the Galaxy S2 as well. Now, in this example, we're going to take a look at adding additional storage to your Galaxy smartphones in the way of using a USB on the go cable. Now, what this basically is, it has a micro USB port along the, the one end of the cable which plugs into the bottom of either one of these handsets. And on the other side, it's got a USB female adapter which can take any USB input. So in this example what we're going to be doing is using a one of the first USB drives I ever purchased and this uh, in this example it's a integral 1 gigabyte USB flash drive it's USB 2.0 flash drive. Now this will work whether you have a flash drive or a portable hard drive uh, as long as it's got, it's got a USB port on it uh, for example, you could use a micro SD card plugged into a USB adapter, then plugged into uh, the USB on the code cable. That will work as well, as long as it's got a USB connector and it can the Samsung Galaxy S3 or the S2 can power it. So if you're going to be using an external hard drive, as long as you've got the power covered, then this will work. So I know both these devices have 16 gigabytes of storage, so it should be enough. But if you're anything like me, you will eventually run out. And I think even if I had the 32 gigabyte or even the 62 gigabyte version of the S3, that will eventually not be enough. I will be able to fill that up as well. So I use this for a lot for media playback. So what we're going to do is run a video file once we've got it plugged in, just to show you if there's any lag. Uh, or any audio synchronization issues when the video is playing. So all you do is get your USB flash drive, plug it into the one end of the USB on the go cable, so it's gone into the female end there. And then all you do, the other end which has got the micro USB port on, plug it into the bottom of the S3 and then it should uh, pick up that there's been a storage device in inserted and you can see it's got a lost.dir and the mp4 which is a video file it's the dark knight rises film trailer trailer so we've got usb cable plugged in it's playing it straight off so turn the volume up a little bit we'll just fast forward that a little bit Now, as you can see, there's, the video looks awesome on the HD screen of the Galaxy S3 anyway, uh, but there's no audio or video sync issues there. The audio is perfectly in sync with the video considering it's running straight off the, the USB drive at the end there. Now, just to show you that it is running off, I'm just going to unplug it and it should stop playing. There you go. So, that's adding a, additional storage on the S3. Now, as I say, this could be a 500 gig or a gig or whatever size portable hard drive that you have uh, with all your media stored on it or it could be as I've got here just an extra gig or it could be a micro SD card plugged into a USB adapter as long as it can fit in there it will work and we'll try this on the S2 as well again same USB on the go cable with the flash drive in plug it straight into the bottom of the handset now it's recognised that a USB mass storage device has been inserted into the handset. And what we'll do, we'll just go into a media player and see if it picks it up. So if I go down to SD card and then from SD card go to USB storage. There it is. And you can see it's picked up the USB drive A. And if I tap into it, they're the same files that we saw on the S3. So if I tap on the MP4 file, it should start playing, and as it does, again, we've got just the flash drive connected via the USB cable, USB on the go cable rather, and I'll just get that going, we'll just 
fast forward that a little bit. Whoops, jumped too far, but you get the idea. As you saw, even on the S2 there, the, there's no audio video sync issues. It plays brilliantly straight off uh, the flash drive. There's no time delay from the data transfer or anything like that as well. Uh, and as I say, this will work with any sort of USB storage, whether it's hard drives, as long as the power... If you're going to be using hard drives plugged into uh, smartphones, you have to think about the power, whether or not the smartphone will be able to power the hard disk drive. Uh, if it's one of those portable hard drives, I don't think the S3 will have any issues playing it, but the S2 might. Um, but that's been a look at how to increase the storage, or at least temporarily, uh, on the, your Galaxy S smartphones. And as I say, I use these while watching videos while I've got it on my stand there just temporarily to watch a video while I'm at home. Any questions or comments that you guys have got, please hit them up in the comments section down below there. Hit subscribe from the button up top there. It doesn't cost you anything and it's free and you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching, have a good day and we'll see you in the next one.